And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Maokai Mill, our next Meme Tier Monday donation deck. This one's definitely much more meme -y than our first two. Our first two were just pretty good at solid decks. Um, this one is going to be doing a janky combo. All right, so what we're going to try to do is level up Maokai. That's going to be like plan A. That's what we want to do right away. Let's get Maokai leveled up. And to do that, we need to... Um, have 25 things die and or tossed together, right? Like we need 25 of those. Because then whenever we do have Maokai leveled up, we obliterate the enemy deck and leave them with four non-champion uh, cards left. So they get four cards left. And then, of course, because the reason why we're doing this, because as, as you probably know, uh, you lose the game if you draw a card and you have no cards left in your deck. So whenever we obliterate their deck and only leave four cards, then they only have four cards to draw before they lose, whenever they try to draw a fifth, because there won't be a card left in their deck. So then after we do that, then we want to make them draw those cards. So we have Veteran Investigator. Whenever we're summoned, all players draw one, so that would be our opponent as well. So we'll wait till for them to obliterate their deck, and then make them draw it with Veteran Investigator. We also can copy Veteran Investigator with the help of Fading Memories, Counterfeit Copies, so we can get some more, um, and then of course Stalking Shadows going and finding finding them. So we can get some more uh, Veteran Investigators that way, so we can maybe unload, a, you know, like level up Maokai, unload a bunch of vest Veteran Investigators, and mill them out. So besides that, we're going to have to toss. So you can see we got some good toss cards in here with like your Dead Bloom Wanderer, Thorny Toad, that kind of stuff. We're also going to need to have things die. And so we have things like Blighted Caretaker. They can have a lot of things die. Oblivious Islander giving things ephemeral um, and stuff like that. So we're going to want, and we're just going to be block, you know, a bunch of cheap little blockers here. So we're just going to want to block, have things die, get this Maokai leveled up. This deck looks pretty cool. Looks pretty fun. Let's go ahead and play five games over in Ranked. I just am used to saying that. Sorry, we're actually playing over a normal. <laughs> My bad. How do you consistently find your investigators? Uh, we have Stalking Shadows. We have Progress Day. We have Zonite Urchin. Um, so we, we do a pretty good job of digging. They're going to be very aggressive. I don't have time for these two. I think we can still keep Stalking Shadows, but I don't know. Ooh, I like this. I don't know, maybe I don't. So we can Oblivious Islander the Thorny Toad? But I guess the Thorny Toad is just a good blocker. Perfect. That is something I will throw away. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We're building our own, uh, you know, jury rig plus that that one drop that you discard the jury rig. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's rock it! Okay, got some more blockers. Let's play this. Let's think about whether I want to attack or not first. Zonite Urchin, that was the card. Okay, fading memories can be good. I kind of want to take the double dead bloom wanderer, honestly. <clears throat> we could toss so many cards and just have like Maokai leveled up, but obviously, you know, like veteran investigator is part of our combo. I kind of want to just take this though. Man, we, we're gonna level up Maokai super fast. Need victims. Death becomes you. Cool. Yeah, let's, let's find that Maokai.
Don't like the quick attack. I don't... Don't want them to have Jinx. This is what I was going to say. Because level up Jinx is, of course, really devastating. Alright, cool. Uh, block here. Block here. Block. Here. Here. Um. Obviously, I want to kill the other Battlecaster, but this also just keeps me at 20. Doing this kind of block. Oh, I should I should definitely be casting Glimpse Beyond. I kind of clicked OK, but I that was that was uh, what I meant to do was cast Glimpse Beyond on on these things over here. But I accidentally just clicked OK. I I like clicked OK, then went over here to go to go cast it. Like OK, these are my blocks. Whoops. Keep them from leveling up their Jinx. Put more cards in their hand. Malkai, okay, where are you at? This definitely would have been better if I would have cast those Glimpse Beyonds. Four. Okay, I like you, hapless aristocrat. We only have 11 cards left, <laughs> so we're running out of, of options of finding Maokai. It's one of the next 11. I want to play another veteran investigator, try to keep them from cast from leveling up Jinx. Uh, but also maybe I should just play Blighted Caretaker and hit them. Obviously we want to save the veteran investigators though for after Maokai. That makes our decision difficult. Finding details is my duty. There's so many caretakers. There you are, Maokai. What? They just have Captain Farron? That seems like cheating. There you are. That definitely seems like cheating. Investigator. Nope. Oh, heck. I didn't really see us tossing veteran investigators. I just don't, I don't really remember though. Did we toss veteran investigators? Like, do we have do we have one more at least? Hopefully, we have one more. Because we have okay, so we have six cards left. We know two of them are Maokai, two of them are Callista, so that's four. So there's only two other cards we don't know left. But I think one of them is veteran investigator. I think. Cause 
because we we've only drawn one because we we drew one and then you know used it with this like with the stalking shadows right so we had we had two copies but it was only one of the three Give them room to spread their leaves. investigator oh yeah oh we have one in play yes okay perfect We're down to two cards left. We need to find two more. Autographs after the fight, kid. Uh, autographs after. Oh god. Oh yeah, they can just kill. They can just cast the two decimates to kill me. But <laughs> maybe they won't. You never know. I have to play to win. Not. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. No, what are you doing? Don't play that. And draw another one anyway. We came close. If it wasn't for this Captain Farron, right? Like, like we were going to be okay against like this Jinx and Draven and them going wide. We would have been okay. It's just here's a you know like a nine power overwhelm and then all these decimates. Like we were going to be okay. That was close. GGS. Pass. Maybe they pass. Go to your turn. No. Close game. Basically, I was, I was impressed by our Malachi Mill deck there with that game. That was impressive. Oh no. They better not have a, a Captain Farron also. But still, like this. So our deck's not playing removal, right? Like, we're just, I guess, Blighty Caretaker. We're just trying to block. And so. Let's just Mulligan you. And so, since we're just trying to block. A card like Ash, they can just make all of your stuff not block with some Frostbite cards that can just kill us in one shot, and we can't really stop that. Hmm. Okay, it's a good blocker. I was planning on playing Stalking Shadows and getting two copies, and if I didn't want the Ephemeral copy, then, di you know, discard the Ephemeral copy over here, but... Thornito's a good blocker. I want to have them wait as long as possible as far as drawing an extra card with the Averroes and Sentry. I do not want them to draw that extra card. And no, we're not good against Culling Strike, and we're not good against um, the six mana thing either. They have a lot of great cards against us. I'll be surprised if we win this, but you know we're gonna we're gonna make them have them. I was hoping for better investigator there, of course. If they use Cooling Strike here to kill the Thorny Toad, they're not using Cooling Strike on my Mount High. Been zero investigators this this time. I've been just paying more attention to if we're tossing investigator or not. It's been zero so far. In Avarosa's name. <clears throat> okay, cool. Good call. So 
Or should I counterfeit them later so I don't toss them? Right Possible. I didn't. I, I also didn't just see what I just tossed. I didn't see if I tossed any veteran investigators right there. I was thinking they'd be you know more likely to find them with stalking shadows. That's what I was thinking, and everything. But I guess that's true with the toss. They will pay for what they did to you. All that matters now is the little one. I'm not sure if I was supposed to kill that or kill the Zonite Urchin. You know, like which one I should kill. I kind of like just having the Zonite Urchin against open attacks. Be another blocker. So I... I kind of feel like I shouldn't play... I don't think I should risk this Maokai until we have the level up. Like, it, ideally. Victory requires a sharp blade. We'll show you what you and, and I want to just drop leveled up Maokai immediately. All the world on one arrow. Our deck's not really about attacking, so us having ephemerals isn't really a big deal because we don't we don't attack. We're at 16 right now. Fresh catch? Well, it was fresh. Safeguard our homes. Face me. Feels like a big one. I'm innocent. So make it 20. If I play this veteran investigator, that'd be 21, 22, 23. The time is right. I guess we're supposed to do that during on our turn though. Observe and go. Gotcha. So we're at 20 right now. So this is gonna be 21, 22, 23. So close. Perfect. Glad they tapped out. Is that better investigator? Oh no, this oh yes, Dead Bloom Wanderer? Perfect. Okay, level up Maokai. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. They have to kill me this turn, basically. Like this attack turn, they have to do 18 damage to me, which is possible. But it's more possible with leveled up Ash, and Ash is only at two out of five. But this is their last attack step. I don't know if they realize it's gonna be their last attack step, but it is. So open attack, do it. Don't play Captain Farron. Okay, good. No Captain Farron. So yeah, we won't be able to mill them out this turn, but you know we will my next turn. So they get they get this one attack. So I think we're gonna win. All right, set up our combo, Maokai Mill. That's a good good win. A good deck. Oh, the anti-mill card. They're putting cards back. I guess I should play this thing to block first. Okay. Uh, yeah, they... No mana, I don't think they can kill me. Don't think they can kill me. Yeah, mill Kai. Maokai mill, mill Kai. Um, Fortunate fellow. All right, we want to kill their Avros and Sentry, make them draw a card. The 
Okay, so they only got the two cards left. They'll draw for turn, they'll draw one, and we will be good. And so life springs anew. Yeah, the fading memories will be for Veteran Investigator for sure. Observe and go. So they have another Afros and Trapper. I do not. GG's. Okay, there we go. Meme tier, Monday. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I didn't get to play the other veteran investigator to kill them because they conceded, but it's all good. really don't need Hapless Aristocrat in this matchup, except for, I guess, Hapless Aristocrat's a good blocker. I, I guess maybe that, that'd be a reason to keep it. Like, they, um, you know, go Remembrance, you get to block with it. Death begins your forever. We'll block with this thing. Meme Monday, Maokai Mill. Making matches. Okay, not Remembrance. So that's exciting, not Remembrance. Whoa. All right, Turbo Toss. Now they're going to be able to create a detain. That egg, did it move? Sure is dark, eh? I don't know if that that's a good Oblivious Islander or not. Probably not. Stalking Shadow's gone. Where are we at? Five? That's not very much. Mm. Nah, that, that's, that seems like Radiant Guardian to me. They want me to attack and then they play Radiant Guardian. And they said I was dangerous. I don't know, you look pretty dangerous to me. Toss a couple more. Cool, we can toss those. Maokai. So I know they can detain this Maokai, but we can hopefully draw another Maokai. I will keep us safe. Hmm. So playing this would just be a toss five. Finding details is my duty. I'm gonna play this investigator. Let's see how that goes. I, I just I want to have this thing on defense. We'll see how that goes. I still have three veteran investigators in hand. I still had two whenever I did that, but now, so now we have four veteran investigators. I guess we may need to have another Dead Bloom Wanderer instead. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to have one of these fading memories be a Dead Bloom Wanderer. Toss is five. Hey, Strafe, your deck's pretty sweet. I like it a lot. Alright, so we only take one damage. I'm, I know Hapless Aristocrat's good to block with, but I'm not blocking with the Aristocrat so that I can free up a spot. Sure. So 
19. So we can mill them out next turn. <clears throat> Please don't kill my Maokai. There's only seven cards left in the deck. Don't kill my Maokai, please. And I, so I don't want to ca cast counterfeit copies right now in case they do kill Maokai, which, you know, they, they can just detain it. But if they do get rid of Maokai, then, you know, I need to draw another one. So we're at two out of seven as far as drawing another one. I probably could. I probably could just. I probably could Fading Memories another Dead Bloom Wanderer right now to try to, to improve those stats to make it even more likely that we draw Maokai. I guess that would it's still just a toss the bottom cards. But if the champions are at the bottom, the, <laughs> then the followers would be above it. So yeah, I think I think we can Fading Memories this right here just fine. With, with counterfeit investigator, we should be we should be just fine. Let's let's obliterate. Let's toss some more cards in our deck. All right, like I don't I don't want to draw those cards except for I guess the glimpse beyond is okay. The thing is, is I I don't know if they're going to open attack or not. Like I kind of imagine they would open attack. So right now our deck has one Callista, two Maokai's, and a random other card. I guess I can go Veteran Investigator draw and try to draw Maokai with like that too. By the light. If they open attack, I take 13 and then I'm gonna die to Final Spark. The sea tells me all I need. So that's the other random card. Oh, why didn't I do the counterfeit copies? Oh wait, because I can't do counterfeit copies first. Okay, yeah, because we're not fading memories yet. Okay, yeah, we're still good. Oh no! Seriously, the last two cards are the two Maokais? <sighs> that hurts. That hurts very much. I needed one of these two cards to be Maokai. That's probably good for me. They're wasting all that mana. I think we're... So I think we're okay. I don't know. I guess we'll see. The mask they wear tell their tale. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. My cause is right. You have no alibi. Your death has been ordained. Okay. So now it's... Now the big thing is we can't draw both Maokais in a row. Basically, we, we need to draw a lot of veteran... We need to draw these veteran investigators. So we're going to have five cards in our deck. We're going to have one Maokai. Sort of an easier if we would have drawn Maokai last turn, for sure. But now we're going to put four Veteran Investigators back in front. Basically, we need to keep drawing those four Veteran Investigators and not this Maokai. If we draw the Maokai, we brick. That's basically what it's going to be about. Stand aside, an expert. 
hurt is it work? And obviously we brick. So that's unfortunate. Man, we had some really bad Maokai luck with that game. That was one that I think that we would normally win, but we had they were the very last two cards in the deck. <laughs> and then And now this. Man, we had some bad bad Maokai luck. Well, I don't know. I, I shouldn't mark it down as a loss yet, I guess, but... We'll have two blockers, so like, right now we could block those two. I guess that's still taking seven. Yeah, that's still game if they just go to open attacks. And so life springs anew. I see all. Sit and suck. You can't justice. Man, that's really unlucky. Both of our losses have felt incredibly unlucky, because our first loss was because our Jinx Draven opponent, like, I think that, like, we were going to win that Jinx Draven game, and then they just had Captain Farron. I like these cards. If we would have drawn something that we didn't need, we could have discarded that to draw, but... Okay, there we go. Like, we can discard that. This Fiora, this Fiora kill is going to be kind of rough. Yeah, like, maybe... I'm really hoping they don't have the card Fiora, because obviously our game plan is just to play a whole bunch of blockers and, and uh, stay alive by just blocking a bunch, right? With a bunch of small things. That's, that's our entire game plan. That game plan does not work against the card Fiora. So my hope is that they just have not drawn and will not draw the card Fiora. That is my hope. No Fiora, something else. Something else. Perfect. Good card, good card. Death begins your forever fable. Hey, <laughs> you think that taking the thorny toad is the right decision on that stalking chat is? It was a tough one. I don't always. It's difficult to make the right decision, but I, I, I feel pretty good about taking that thorny toad. Prepare for battle. Fiora is the only champion in the game you you really hate losing to. Yeah, Fiora is kind of obnoxious. So I could save the Glimpse Beyond for Fiora, but I feel like if they had Fiora, they would have played it, so I, I don't need to sit back and wait. This will help keep their Shivana from leveling up. <laughs> we have, have a dog doing dog things behind me, rolling around. Cliss is good at just like distracting the opponent and making them think that we're gonna be doing other stuff or that you know it's just Callista is just good distraction basically. Make them use like they usually like use removal on Callista while it's not the Callista that matters, like that. See, good distraction. RV, RV, oh. Um, what are we doing? We're blocking. Blocking. Death becomes you. Hey, Boot, doing good. How you doing? Witness my true power. I didn't see. What did we toss? 
what do we toss? I need to pay attention more to what we're tossing. Anything else? <laughs> cool, I like that card. I like that stalking shadows. Alright, Maokai, where are you at? Still 11 away, also. I need this Maokai. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> oh no, now you're gonna come up here now? Okay. Alright, come here. Come here. More dragons. More dragoons. I'm not sure. Obviously, we're going to do this. I'm not sure if any of these other, like, challenging any of these other things is, is honestly even worth it. Just does, like, one damage, but that increases increases their power by one and their health by, you know, goes down by one. Like, that's probably not really even that worth it. I hope they can't give that overwhelm. Prepare for battle. Seventeen. <clears throat> We're finding our Callistas. Maybe I need a Fading Memories, this Wanderer. So this is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 9 cards. What's that noise? Still haven't seen any of the 3 Maokais. I may just pass here. We can block, you know, 3 things. Yeah, it's not a bad pass. Bottom 8 cards. Wait till we find the Maokai before, and because you know now we get to toss some more things, which is good. As long as they don't have overwhelm, we're good. So eight cards left. There's one Callista, three Maokai, so that's four. So there's four other cards. We're gonna toss three of the four. Those would have been pretty good cards. Alright, so we have a 60% chance of drawing Maokai now. Um, yeah, I guess they just pass. Stalking Shadows? So my my deck is just one Callista, three Maokai. So there there is no... Yeah, obviously I can counterfeit copies and then you know find more. No, So this... I, I guess I could just... I can't cast Veteran Investigator. I have to counterfeit copies at first. So, like, if I do counterfeit copies the Veteran Investigator, then you're looking at putting four of those in, so now you're, you know, less than 50% chance of drawing the Maokai. Harvey, 
Finally. Okay, hopefully this is not lethal. Awesome, not lethal. I feel like they probably could have killed... And there we go. So I think I think we got this now. I feel like they probably could have killed me, right? Like, do they not have like any pump spells or just play another dragon or anything? I guess they're like worried about ruination. I think that's, that's the thing. I think they're worried about ruination. That's probably what it was. I guess I do need to worry about them drawing a rally. Okay, not anymore. When tribe calls, a reply is proper. Let's go. The more we learn, the less we fear. Veteran investigator. And so and that should be game. They draw this card. Now I get priority. And then we have them draw another card, which they can't, so they lose. GG. Awesome. I don't think they were expecting that. <laughs> we did not do a very good job finding Maokai, right? It took us forever. It, Three, like, we had to go down to four cards before we drew a Maokai. Milkai. Mao Mil. Replace that. Playing Nocturne Callista. Oh, that's going to be so aggressive. I don't like it. It's going to be all fearsome. I don't, I don't like fearsome. Milokai. I think the KDA event ends whenever the next expansion releases. I think if you go to your event tab, you'll be able to see um, in the event tab, it will tell you like how many days left. Alright, one veteran investigator gone, unfortunately. Oh, it just says end soon. Okay, Fear Queen says it ends in two days. The Blessed Isles live through me. It's a good draw. There you are. Man, I wanted to play Dead Bloom Wanderer to block Mr. Eighth, but now obviously we can't really do that. Um so am I playing Oblivious Islander, I guess? But then that means I have to make this Wanderer Ephemeral. So that's messy. I learned patience. But I gotta play it. Because we gotta play a unit here to... Oh no, that's our second Veteran Investigator that we've tossed. No! There's only one more in the deck now. We need to draw that, not toss it. We need to draw it, not toss it. Mm. Yes. Alright, we drew it. 
And I guess that, that Glimpse Beyond was just a bad play. Yeah, that Glimpse Beyond was just a really bad play, because I should have taken damage first before healing my Nexus for two anyway. So that, that was just a bad play by me. Alright, we're at 13. I don't like all these fearsomes. I don't like all these fearsomes one bit. Sure is dark, eh? I want to play Progress Day this turn. I just don't feel like that's the best thing that we can do. Yeah, I wish I would have just glimpsed the the Maokai after they Pale Cascaded. I, I should have just waited. I don't really want to play any of these cards. Wow. Well, we, we found more better investigators. I guess Miss Wraith is the thing I'm supposed to kill. Islander. Cool. Stalking shadows. So where are you at, Maokai? Need seven more? I guess Blighted Caretaker looks pretty nice against fresh catch. all these two health units. Fresh. Okay, okay. Everyone's a garden. Okay. Double Caretaker. Really hope they don't have another Frenzy Skitter. Or a Nocturne. Yay! Nocturne or Frenzy Skitter would have been devastating. To make these make these all have just one attack. Alright, that's pretty big trading with all these. I know the levels up their Callista, but still. A bunch of fearsomes. So I'm thinking about Fading Memories, the Wraith Caller, but then our Mist Wraith would just be a 2-2. Um, definitely need to put something that blocks Fearsome. But at least get the, like we get the 4-3. Life. Please no Nocturne. Please no Nocturne. Okay, good. Not dead yet. I don't know why. I, sh I should definitely throw one of these just in front of the Wraith Caller. That's dumb. Because they could just glimpse beyond the Callista and then kill me. That was that was dumb. Well, I mean, not necessarily kill me. Put me to one. I should just put something in front of that Wraith Caller, though. Okay, not, not punished. Oh, I like Stalking Shadows. Alright, where's Maokai? We are we do a really bad job of drawing Maokai. Where is Maokai? Do 
do a terrible job of drawing Maokai. I like those fading memories too. Only six card left. I mean, what else? I mean, I could have played Veteran Investigator, but I kind of need the Veteran Investigators for my combo kill. So right now they have two Fearsome I have attackers. I have two Fearsome blockers. Yes, finally. Yeah, I guess I probably should have played Hapless. I was... Yeah, I should have played Atlas. Status hide. An expert is at work. I have to play a fearsome blocker because they have the three fearsome attackers that are lethal. I don't want to be playing these, right? Like I, I want to wait till after Maokai, but I don't have a choice. Just let this happen. Don't play a Nocturne or... Okay. We can stay alive here. Okay, that's us not dying. Going to 8. I guess I should have the Mist Wraith and the 2-1 change around, I guess. But it makes very little difference. Okay, I think we're going to win this. Yeah, because we have counterfeit, so I think I think we're good. I should have counterfeited the one... Ideally, you want to counterfeit the one mana... Um... Three twos, like whenever whenever you get the the one mana veteran investigator, you want to counterfeit that so you get other one manas. Okay, so we should be able to mill them out before they take another turn, hopefully. Um, that puts a wraith caller into play. Oh, see, that, that could have mattered. Okay, yeah, we missed. It's a PNZ card. Finding details is my duty. Cool. When tribe calls, a reply is proper. We're down to one card left. And this will do it. Why would you even play that? You could at least... Why would you play that? You could at least... Like, they just killed... They just killed themselves. I mean... I have another veteran investigator, but... I think I'm sweat for it. Atrocity doesn't kill me, because we gain that three life. I don't have the mana for Atrocity anymore. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, they... I mean, they... They weren't necessarily dead. Like, if they don't, don't draw that card, I had to have another Veteran Investigator, which I did. But... <sighs> Alright, so there we go. That was Maokai Mill. Pretty awesome deck here. That was really cool. That was a fun one to play, and I was I was very impressed with this. It was definitely better than I expected it to be. It felt pretty legit. Like, winning against that a Fearsome Mystery deck? That's crazy. I didn't expect to win that. We beat that uh, Ash Sejuani Noxus deck. I did not expect to beat that. And both of the losses that we had felt pretty unlucky, uh, how, we, how we got those losses. This one was good. This was a 3-2 that felt like it, it could have been better with with some, some luck in those losses. 
Um, yeah, really fun deck here. Really fun one. All right, that's Maokai Mill. Um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.